Hello, welcome to my channel. You are listening to and watching the Nasty Nail Tech here on YouTube. I thank you for tuning in and watching me. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Today, I am doing some quick nail art. Also, make sure you like and comment below if you have any questions or comments. So, I'm trying to do my first set of spring nails for this season. I am using Madam Glam's Candy Launcher and Green Highlighter and Mother Nature because I couldn't decide on which one I wanted to use, so I just sort of combined all of them and we'll see what springy like color I come up with. I may have to mix some more. We'll see. Uh let's see. Okay, so I have my nail tips already on stands, or two stands that I have, I should say. And we are going to get these polished. I just opened up a new brush. I uh, don't know where I got this brush, so it came with something that was with something that was with something. Don't really know. So we are going to take this green, both of these green polishes in this yellow polish. And we're going to get our first coat of color on. So the idea that I have is polishing the nails with this color. And I also have some foil and some sticker flowers because these are spring nails. And it may not be spring where you are, but it definitely is where I am in Atlanta, Georgia. It pops off a lot sooner here than it does in the rest of the country. Or at least going north and Midwest, I should say. So as always, just a reminder to like, subscribe, share, comment appropriately below. Um... Just do this page is positivity. This is something I enjoy doing, and it relaxes me. I do have another career, but at one point, this was my career. At one point, I was a licensed nail tech for almost eight, nine years, something like that. I still indulge because. It's very relaxing and this is one of the ways the main way actually that I'm creative and it is so important for our mental health to tap into our creativity so comment below just try to keep it positive you can be honest and positive at the same time like I don't expect everybody to like all of my videos or to say oh that's beautiful but you can even say that you don't like something but do it in a nice way or give me your suggestions. Just my mom always taught me how to talk to people. Be respectful. Be honest, but respectful. I think that's very doable. So I'm liking this color. Definitely gonna have to have two coats. Um, because I like each one of those polishes, but for whatever look I'm going for today, that it just wasn't quite it when I only had just like one polish. Now I'm getting polish everywhere. Well, it's not like I can't just wipe it up, right? So let me not worry about that too much. So yeah, I do like the spring. I won't say I love it. My favorite season is the fall and winter in the South, that is, because up north where I was born and raised, it's a lot more brutal up there in the winter um so i do like the spring i like that the you know the leaves begin to the flowers bloom and you know it's beautiful i just have a problem because i'm asthmatic and i have allergies so if i sound nasally or stuffy or sniffling that's why because spring is upon us pollen is everywhere outside everywhere so I just cured these two um oh I'm like where's my other nail here it is 
So yeah, I'm gonna have to mix up more color because I want to do a second coat because this is just a little streaky and a little bit too clear see-through for me. So while these are curing, I'm gonna mix up some more polish. And you guys, okay, it's April, but March Madness. I watched the Women's Championship game last night. I am a big South Carolina fan in North Carolina, too. Um, with the women and the men play tonight, North Carolina in Kansas. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm already in relaxation mode. I'm sipping my wine. Just waiting for the game to come on. And I have no idea the order or the amount, the ratio of color to color. So, don't know that information. I'm just adding it until I feel I'm satisfied and until I feel that I have enough for these four nails. This is a pretty yellow. You know what? I feel like I haven't used this yellow yet. And on me, that would make sense. Or no, I may have because I remember feeling like it was very sheer and I wasn't expecting that. So this yellow color reminds me of the pollen. You know, that pollen is yellow, it's everywhere. You go outside, it's in your throat, in your eyes. If you wear glasses like me, then it's on your glass lenses. Um, it's, it's everywhere. It's all over your car, you touch your door to open up your car door and get it all over your hands. It's on your car in layers that to the point if it bothers you enough, you'll end up washing your car or at least just taking a hose, which my lovely husband did that for me the other day. He took the water hose and just rinsed it off for me because it was just so much. It was just a thick layer. It gets all in your clothes and then you come in the house and of course the particles are traveling in with you and they're on your clothes and your hair which reminds me i need to wash my hair this week <laughs> and it just they're teeny tiny particles but you can see them you can see it all over your windshield it's the equivalent i call it the snow of the south you know up north you know i'm from michigan so we get all of that snow and that weather um that's what this reminds me of it's the snow of the south you know how in the winter states the snow states you go out and that stuff is covering your car and it's just everywhere that's kind of how this pollen is all right yes i definitely like the second coat better give them more the look that i want i'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds This nail just doesn't want to stay on. I guess I didn't put enough of that little sticky stuff on there. I'm trying to keep it on there. Ugh. Great. One second. Goodness, I can make a mess. Luckily, I... Uh, Gel polish is gel polish. You can cure it and you never know. And I got it on my nails. <laughs> like, I make a mess. It's usually glitter though where I make the biggest mess, but I swear I make a mess out of everything. Like I've gotten polish all over my little mat. I made just enough polish. I did pretty good eyeballing it. When I use polish, which I don't do it as much anymore for nail art because I have all these little pots or gel paints also that I can use. Um, but when I use polish out of the bottle for nail art, I'm notorious for making too much. And then being annoyed that I'm wasting this gel polish. Okay. Ah! 
guys, I just dropped it now on the floor. So I have to do it over now because it's going to have lint carpet particles on it. It's not too bad, but still. And I can see the little shimmer. That yellow has like a little shimmer glitter in it or something. I can see it in here. That's pretty cool. I'll just get all the lint off of here. Alrighty. Okay. I think I'm finished making a mess now. Alright. I'm curing for 60 seconds. 10 minutes on just polishing. I start to just polish before I started recording. I thought, oh, that'll be easier, take less time. I'm not gonna clean all of this up, but I am gonna move this and at least get this off of my mat so that I'm not spreading it all around. Yeah, like my little, none of this wants to just stick on for me like it normally does. Goodness. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush out, get that gel polish out of there, and then we're gonna wipe this down and wipe it down some more. These are my favorite lint-free wipes. They're OPI. I got them off of Amazon. I'm sure you can get it off the OPI site. They are lint-free wipes. I tried some other ones from AliExpress and they were like these pink little, supposedly, I guess, lint-free, but, well, they just say cotton. But man, do they leave fuzzies all over the place. So what we are going to do now, besides take a sip of wine. Isn't my glass cute? I got this off of um, Amazon as a graduation gift to me. Um, we are going to take some alcohol and we're going to get whatever stickiness may be on the nail because we're going to go in with some foil. And I don't think I'm gonna put it on the entire nail, maybe just, well, we'll see. We may do that, we'll see. All right. This little putty stuff is just like being a pain. Trying to get it to stick. Like, just get on there and play nice with me. Okay. So, we're going to take the nail art foil from the cart. And we're going to polish the majority or all of this nail because I don't know exactly where I want to put the foil. I'm just going to stick and peel so to speak stick stick and peel in various places do not ask me where I got this foil um probably AliExpress but it's no teller but at the present moment everything comes from Shein AliExpress or Amazon for the most part because that's just for nail art you can't get in you can't get better prices than that Gosh, I almost feel like I took off so too much of my color when I took the stickiness off. All right, so we are going to set all these in. The lint for 30 seconds. All right, here's my foil. It's like pretty sheer. We see it has a little, if you can see, it has a little yellow tint to it. And my flowers that I want to use are these pretty 
pinky like flowers um yeah so that's what i'm going to use Look at that, I took the whole nail off. That's, in, that's a shame. Like, I've never had this much trouble with my putty. Never. I think the nail, okay. I'm gonna cure it longer. It's not even. Like my design wasn't coming off the way it should. Yeah, because I don't really edit, I just kind of shoot it all in one shot. I have my reasons for that. Yeah, you guys get to see the real of everything. Like, me messing up, me spilling stuff. Personally, I like videos like that. Because people get caught up with social media. They think that, you know, everything they see is real. They, or they don't understand it. There's a behind-the-scenes aspect to anything i can't believe that foil is strong enough to pull this nail off of there and i can't believe that this foil is not sticking why are you not you're sticking but you're not transferring I've done it on top of polish before. I don't think that's the problem. So I can continue to fight with this or I can move on to plan B and figure out what happened later. So I got a piece of something on there. All right, we're gonna try one more. And if it does not work, we're going on to plan B. Oops. Cause normally I can just, you know, Yeah, it's just not sticking. And what's foil glue that I use? Where'd it go? Nail art foil glue. Yep, purse. It was. My fingerprints are sticking to this. All right, so for whatever reason, it's not working. I haven't had that happen to me in a really long time. Like maybe when I first started using foil, that happened, but. Anywho. We're going to take some stickers and we're going to move on to plan B. Hmm. Just wanted some spring nails. That's all I wanted. So these are, I don't think they're roses. Just pretty pink flowers. This is gonna be too big. Oh, God. I love stickers. That's like the one thing you just can't really mess up. Even me. Like, I am a beginner with nail art, so it's like if I can do it and not mess it up. Hey. That 
one's really cute. And I do I want to put like some. I'm gonna put butterflies in here. The key to st stickers is not when you peel it off of the paper, make sure you don't roll it behind and get the sticky part on the back side because it's hard to straighten it out. And make sure you flatten it once you put it on the nail before you coat it in top coat or builder drill, whatever you're using. And make sure it's nice and flat otherwise you'll feel that little lump of where it's not totally flat okay and I think I might just take if I have all of this nail foil on here I'm gonna cover it but I'm gonna cover it before I cover it with the um before I do the top coat. So I'm just gonna take a base coat and kind of encapsulate that, um, those flowers. And to cover up that foil gel. The green color is pretty. And they need something else. What should that something else be? Like, do they want to do a little glitter mix? I do have some yellow glitter out over here. I don't know if that's what I want to do, though. Do like a glitter plate. Huh. Or do you just want to put some rhinestones on? This is a base coat, right? Yeah. Savvy land. Okay. I'm getting down to it. I'm at 23 minutes. Jelly stones. I love these jelly stones. And the only thing about these is that they're all the same size. Hmm. I'm going to use my IBD Intense Seal Top Coat because I've had it forever to get rid of it. So, what better way to do that than to practice? Use it for practice. Um, let's see. And again, drop the nail. Oh, goodness. I apologize. I will redeem myself in the next video. Meaning, I will do my best not to drop anything and not to scream out in agony if I hurt myself. I think what I'm going to do is just cure the rhinestones into the top coat. Use the top coat as my glue because why waste nail glue or UV gel nail glue resin if I don't have to. And what do I want to do? Let's see. Hmm. 
These yellow ones are so pretty. You know what I notice about me? I'm really bad about, like, I watch a lot of nail videos and I see how wonderful and talented the other nail techs are. And I'm like, oh, I want to do that. And then I, I tell myself, well, you know, you got to practice. And I know I have to practice. But it's a little part of me, like a little child, that still expects to just get it on the first try. And I know that's not going to happen. And it's hard for me to just practice because, well, every time I get ready to, and I think, well, this can be a video. Right? This can be a video. Why waste this good footage? But I could always just take a picture afterwards and put that on my Instagram. So give me some type of content. But yeah, I'm really bad about that. Oh, I have some like really white yellow ones too. I'm just randomly putting these on, no plan, no nothing. Uh, let's see. These are just so pretty to me. I would like to do like big, small, small. Like I said, these particular ones, they're all the same size. Well, I still have my spring nails. They're cute. They're not anything fancy. I will wear them. Um, yeah. And now I dropped two nails and my foil wouldn't work. Not sure why. Hmm. I'm just randomly adding no plan just adding some sparkle see if it's fuzzy on there One more. Oh, I have some green ones too, actually. A couple different green. I really like those flowers. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like a light green and then a lighter green. It's hard to tell, especially once I put it on this polish. And these I have two of these packs. One I got off of Etsy and one I got off of, um, I purchased from AliExpress. 
do you believe? See my fuzzies from the carpet. They're all sealed in now in the polish, but yeah, I can see it. Alrighty now. These are cute. I like them. They are cute. I need, I'm just hard on myself. One, I, need, I know I need to practice, but two, I've been wanting to do all the fancy stuff, but I don't want to necessarily commit and put the time into the practice to do all the fancy stuff. And that's not gonna work. I know this. Don't you tell me. Oh, I got my stones back because I'm not wasting those. Yeah, I love these jelly stones. They're so cute. Pretty. Those are like my favorite. They're all my favorite, but I really love those dark ones. There they are, all finished. How cute. I'm proud of me. Simple, simple, simple nail art for the nail tech that does not know how to draw and, you know do all that fancy stuff with the acrylic and the gel and turn it into art there you go stickers and jelly rhinestones simple 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 thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment below like this video share it with others subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so thank you for watching and god bless